In this lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate the slope of a linear function by looking at the function's graph. Let's begin by reminding ourselves what slope is. Slope is simply a number, and that number describes the steepness and the direction of the line. Simply put, slope is change in y over change in x. Notice those little triangles in front of the y and x. Those are the Greek letter delta, and in mathematics, the Greek letter delta means change, so when you see the triangle in front of the y, it means the change in y. And when you see the triangle in front of the x, it means the change in x. So how do we apply this in order to find the slope given a graph? Well, let's begin by looking at an example. Here we have the graph of a linear function. We know that slope is the change in y over the change in x. We begin by looking at the graph and identifying what we call the lattice points. The lattice points are where the graph passes through the grid at a nice spot. We need to choose any two of those points. It doesn't matter which two we choose. I'll choose these two. And now we can begin to calculate the slope, knowing that we're looking for the change in y over the change in x. We go from left to right on the graph and we look at what happened to the y values. The y value went up by 2, so the change in y is plus 2. And now we look for the change in x. The x value went up by 3, so the change in x is plus 3. Positive 2 over positive 3 is 2 thirds, so the slope of this line is 2 thirds. I'm not surprised that the slope is positive, because we have an increasing function, and we know that an increasing linear function will have positive slope. Here's the graph of a linear function. We want to determine the slope, the change in y over the change in x. Do you think you can calculate the slope of this line? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare your answers. Let's see how you did. We began by identifying the lattice points on the graph. We found four of them, where the graph passes through the grid nicely. We need to choose two. You can choose any two that you desire. We're looking for the change in y over the change in x. We look at the two points we chose. We notice that the y value went from 1 to 4, which means the y value increased by 3. So the change in y is plus 3. Now we look at the x value. We see that the x value went from 1 to 2. The x value went up by 1, so the change in x is plus 1. Positive 3 over positive 1 is simply 3 over 1, which is 3. The slope of this line is 3. Now let's take a look at a decreasing function. We want to determine the slope of this linear function, which we see is decreasing, so we expect that we'll have negative slope. We want to find the change in y over the change in x, and we begin by identifying the lattice points on the graph. We have many to choose from. We pick any two, and now we look for the change in y over the change in x. When we go from left to right on the graph, we see that the y value went down by 1, so the change in y is negative 1. When we look at the x values, we went from 2 to 4, that's an increase of 2, so the change in x was plus 2. Negative 1 over 2 is negative 1 half, or negative 1 over 2. You could write that fraction either way, but your slope, no matter how you write it, is negative 1 half. I'm not surprised that the slope is negative. We know that a decreasing linear function will have negative slope, and sure enough, that's exactly what we have here y goes down by 1 when x goes up by 2. Here's a decreasing linear function for you to try. Can you calculate the slope of this function? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to check your answer. Let's compare answers. We know that slope is change in y over change in x. We identify the lattice points on the graph. There were only two this time and we now are going to calculate the change in y and the change in x. When we look at the y values, the y value went from 2 to negative 2. That's a decrease of 4, so the change in y was minus 4. Now how about the x values? 
x went from negative 3 to 0. That's an increase of 3. So the change in x is plus 3. Negative 4 divided by positive 3 is negative 4 thirds, or negative 4 over 3. Either way, you write it. You've calculated the slope of the line. Again, we're not surprised that this slope is negative, because we know that a decreasing linear function will have negative slope. There are a couple of special cases that we should look at. The first is that of a horizontal line. We want to calculate the slope, the change in y over the change in x. Again, we identify the lattice points, and we choose two of them. First, we look for the change in y. Well, y didn't change any. On both points, the y value is 3, so the change in y is 0. What about the x value? The x value here went from negative 3 to negative 2. It increased by 1. So we have the change in x is 1. 0 divided by 1 is simply 0. So the slope of a horizontal line is 0. The second special case that we want to look at is that of a vertical line. We want to determine the slope, change in y over change in x. We begin by identifying the lattice points and choosing two of them. And now we have to calculate the change in y. We look at the y values. The y's went from 3 to 4, which means the change in y is plus 1. Now we look at the x values. In both points, the x value was 3. The x value didn't change at all, so the change in x is 0. We have 1 over 0. But this poses a particular problem, because in mathematics, division by 0 is undefined. Therefore, because the slope is 1 over 0, and that division by 0 is undefined, we say that the slope of this line is undefined. And now you know everything you need to know in order to calculate the slope of a line from a graph. Remember, you can learn more about linear functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.